Hello and welcome to a brand new Strobe 2 tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at the Euclidean modulation source which is accessed through this little tab down here that says Euclid. The Euclidean modulation source can be thought of as an XY pad on steroids. So you can see the XY pad here and the modulation sources appear up here in the transmod slots under the synth menu. You've got Euclid X, Euclid Y, Euclid Radius and Euclid Angle. We'll come to those two in a minute. The X and Y should be fairly self-explanatory. In this patch here I've got the X axis opening up the filter here. We can see when we move left and right on the XY pad the filter cutoff opens and I've got the Y axis mapped to the oscillator sync control. So it sounds a little bit like this. If you've got a hardware MIDI controller with an XY pad or even if you just want to use two knobs you can use the MIDI learn control to learn these two knobs here the base values X and Y and you can see I've got them mapped to uh, MIDI CC 113 and 114 and that allows me to use the XY pad on my controller to control the position of the XY control. The Euclidean source actually has a spring model built in and that's what these slew, rate and damp controls are all about. I'll reduce the rate control slightly and you'll see that when the XY position moves the little dot takes a while to follow it. Now the crosshairs represent the actual XY position but the dot represents the actual source values that will be output. The other thing you'll notice is that the dot doesn't follow a straight line. This is actually a spring model so by reducing the damp control here we can actually reduce the sort of gravitational pull around the actual position on the XY pad. And this can produce some really cool and interesting modulation sources. So these three knobs, the slew, which is actually uh, like a lag control, the rate, which is the speed, and the dampening of the spring model, all combine to create some very interesting modulation sources. Slow rates are really good for pads, such as this one. The two controls here, mod X and mod Y, allow you to control the XY position of the pad via modulation sources. So we could apply, for example, some LFO. So that's very cool and you can get some very interesting results by combining various modulation sources to do the actual modulating of the X and Y positions there. I'll show you an example. This patch here makes real use of the step sequencer here. The step sequencer plays a melody. What I've also set up here is the Euclidean X and that's modulated by the step sequencer. So the step sequencer is controlling the X value. But what I've also done is I've applied some slew to that. So the Euclidean modulation source can actually be used as a lag processor for any modulation source. In this case, it's applying lag to the step sequencer. 
And I've got the output of that controlling the oscillator sync parameter. So let's hear it without first. So that's an example of using it as a simple lag or slew processor. Then one final patch here. This one looks a bit crazy, but you'll soon see what's happening. I'll play the sound first, and this is with no modulation from the Euclidean source at all. So it's kind of a it's an effect patch and you can hear that it makes heavy use of the LFO and it's got the modulation envelope slowing down the LFO as you keep the note held. So I'm going to use the Euclidean source here and I'm actually going to use the radius source. There's two options here in the synth menu and you've got Euclid radius and Euclid angle. The radius is how far the dot is from the center of the XY pad and the angle is how far around the XY pad is. So it would start at 0 at the top and then go around to 90, 180, 270, 360. So it's the angle of the actual position. So we're going to use the radius parameter again to modulate the sync. And what's happening down here is the LFO is controlling the X position and the sub LFO is controlling the Y position. And because we've got quite a high damping and quite a low rate, the actual value that you can see in the center here is not able to keep up with the position. But you'll notice as the LFO slow down, it's able to start following the crosshairs about. You'll see what I mean as soon as I play. <laughs> And that is the Euclidean modulation source. Join me for another tutorial soon.